nothing I am about to say or talk about is based off of my beliefs, based off of what I might believe, what I don't believe. It's not based off of science, not based off of anything. It's purely imagination, going wild, thinking about things, you know. So don't take it seriously. Don't take it to heart. Let's just think. Um, let's think about it. For this one, I was thinking about death. And not so much death as in I'm dying, I'm, uh, de like that part of death. More so the afterlife. What happens after you die? Um, where do you go? So here was I, this is what I was thinking about. Instead of being like, I die, bleh, I'm in an afterlife and I'm in an area, whether it be a good afterlife or a bad afterlife or hell, heaven, nirvana, nothing like that, like a lair. And what I mean by that is like, if I were to die, I wouldn't know. I would keep living my normal day and I would be thrown into another layer. So if I died in my sleep, I would wake up the next morning and not know I died. And I would still be going through my life. It would just be another layer of this life added on. But here's the thing. Everyone in the first layer knows I died. So in the second layer is where I am. The first layer is everyone I left behind. Anyone who already left me in the first layer is in the second layer. So as I progress through layers of death, the population would slowly shrink. Not to a point though, because there's been so many deaths, not to a point that I would notice, but I would notice the specific people that I'm closely related to. Say, you know, my mom died before I died. She would be in the second layer waiting for me. And because I didn't know I died, seeing her would be like a mind blown, what are you doing here? And she might not be able to explain, she might, you know, not understand. It would be a mind blowing thing to her to possibly learn that she died. It would be crazy, and then you would just go down these layers um, until eventually, I assume, you might reach like a nirvana type of state, like a, like a eventual, like an afterlife area, um, but just this layered idea where, you know, someone doesn't know they're dying. Like if I were to get in a car accident, like someone hits me in my car, and I die in the accident, instead of me knowing Instead of me being like, oh, someone hit me and I'm, I'm okay, it would be like, I'm just going. Like, say it happened in a red, like in a light. I go through the green light, someone runs a red light and hits me, I die. To them, if they didn't die, it would be like, oh, I hit someone, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. For me, I go through the green light, no issues, no problems, I never got hit. I would, it, would, it happens instantaneously. You would not know if you died or not. And I think that's a fantastically cool idea for a story or for, you know, if it is what happens, you never know. Um, and that's what's crazy about the unknown is you do not know. Um, but think about it. Uh, I think this is going to be a series of um, videos that I'm going to do about different things that I think of, time travel, death, aliens, ghosts, demons, all of this stuff, you know, just interesting ideas, you know, just thinking about things, not being serious, not, not taking it, you know, this is my new religious belief, nothing like that, we're just thinking about things, um, so stay tuned, stay alert, stay awesome, peace.